Hi, this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo. It's great to have you all back and we hope that you're having a great day. Today we are on the Carnival Mardi Gras doing something at sea I never thought I would do. Riding a roller coaster. That's right, zooming around the ship over 180 feet above the sea. So is it as good as they say it is? We'll tell you everything you need to know so you can decide. All that and more coming right up. So let's start with what is the Bolt? It is the fastest and first roller coaster on a cruise ship. The Bolt can reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour, and for us Canadians, that's 64 kilometers per hour. It has twists and turns, and the track is open air and 800 feet long. While zipping around, there are dips and turns to make it even more exhilarating. You get to ride on a motorcycle style car that can fit two people. You're strapped in with a metal seatbelt. I felt secure, but I really held onto those handlebars tight. The electric track is on the top deck, and you go around the ultimate playground and the iconic Carnival Funnel. So now you know what it is, and you've decided you want some extra thrills on your cruise ship, how do you sign up? You do that on the Carnival Hub app. We recommend downloading it before you go. You get to choose a day and time to ride the boat, and that's where you pay right in the app. Being able to choose the time slot in the app does do a great job keeping the wait times down. The first time we rode it, we walked right on, so you're not standing in these huge lines. A cool feature about the motorbike you're riding is that it does have a digital speedometer that you can watch, but to be honest, I was too busy screaming my face off to even notice. Oh yeah, I was absolutely screaming my head off. That being said, while riding it, you sort of get to choose your speed, as there's a throttle on the right side and a boost button on the left side. I was really impressed, it was a pretty smooth ride. A tip that was given to us by the Carnival staff is for the most speed that you use the boost on the straightaways, and you get a total of two boosts and you go around the track twice. We want to make sure you have all the information to maximize your experience on the Bolt, so there are a few things you need to know. There is a height requirement, you need to be four foot five inches and no taller than six foot five inches and can't weigh more than 300 pounds. You need to empty your pockets before you ride and there's some cubbies that you can put your stuff in. You really need to empty everything. Like you can't even wear your glasses unless they're strapped on. So keep that in mind if you're somebody like Aaron and you need your glasses to th see. I think it would be extra terrifying if you couldn't see what was happening. But if, you, if contacts are an option, that might be a time to put those in. If you want a calmer experience, I would recommend the back seat and just focus on the views, not on the track. There is a cost. While we sailed, it was 15 US dollars each to ride. You also aren't allowed dresses because of the speed you're going around. Uh, so if you want to wear shorts, leggings, long pants, and you do need to have closed-toed shoes. It isn't fun to take a break from what you're doing, get all the way over to the bolt, go up to the top deck, and find out you have to go back to your room for running shoes because you're wearing sandals. So just keep that in mind. Right now, you can find the bolt on the Carnival Mardi Gras and the new Carnival Celebration. The staff are awesome and take some time to chat with them and they'll have some fun tips and stories for you. We had so much fun riding the bolt that we actually did sign up to do it a second time. What did you think about the roller coaster at sea? Do you think it's worth the cost? Have you ever tried the bolt? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your ideas and experiences. Also, check out our channel. We've got tons of videos about cruising and more to come. Also, if you want some more of our content, we have another channel, Flamingos in Wonderland, where we talk about all things Disney and theme parks. Thanks so much for taking the time for watching. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again, and happy travels.